What is up, everybody? Today we're answering the question of how to replace one character in a string in Python. Python has the ability where you can have the replace function, but that replaces every single character um, with whatever you're replacing with. But if you only want to replace one character at a certain spot, how do you do that? Well, in today's video, I'm taking this example of Glowworm with an extra W, and I'm replacing the W with an M, and we're going to show you how you can use this variable to essentially go through only replace the first, second, or third instance in our case. Um, and this is kind of the setup. We pass all this information to this function, um, which I have right up here above, which we'll write together. Um, and when I run this, you get something that says, there is the original word, glowworm with our extra W, and then we replace the first character, or first instance of that W, right there. And I can also replace this to say, uh, do the second one, and you'll see that now it's it replaced this one right here, or I could say do the third one, and it has now replaced that last one right there. So that's what we're gonna be writing, um, and let's hop right in and start coding. All right, so to write re write this replace nth char function, um, and do what we wanted to do to replace this, I've gone ahead and replaced this with pass so that way if we run this now um, essentially it just says glow room and the original word and then none because this is not returning anything um, and we're gonna write this together now the way that I think about this this um, this problem is we need to go through our string which um, we can iterate through right we can use for loops and stuff and then we need to find all the indexes where um, our original char, like the one that we want to replace is at, and then we only need to find, you know, which instance of that char it is. So like if it's the first one or the second one or the third one, um, we need to do, we need to handle all the cases. Now I like for this problem to kind of go with what I call more of the naive approach. And what I mean by naive is just like, you use the basics, right? Use what you know. Like you don't try to do all these Pythonic or, you know, hacky or, or not, I wouldn't say hacky, but more like um, um, you don't try to optimize your code. You just kind of get the algorithm working, right? And so that's what we're going to do in this approach um, because oftentimes I find the more naive approach or that using the basics is kind of like, honestly, a lot of times it's the best way to do it. Um, and then when you start learning more about Python, you can kind of do more of the advanced stuff. So my first thought of this is, if we need to replace a certain index, what we want to do um, is use a couple things because we know we're working with strings, so we can iterate through them. So I'm going to say for, and because we want the index in this time, I'm just going to say I in the range of the, um, and in this case, we, we want to loop through the whole thing, right? We, we could loop through the whole list, but we all, we know that we want to loop through instant, or we want to, we only want to go up to a, up to a certain instance of a character from, you know, which, you know, this variable here of our, which origin char, like which, you know, which, which count of that char are we at? So actually we can actually input that here because we're going to, what I would say, we're going to leverage, oops, we're going to leverage um, a thing, a string function called find. Now, what's nice about find is if I say an index is equal to the input string dot find, I can say, I can give it a substring right here that I want it to use or what I want it to find. In our case, we want to find the original char, right? But then I can also say, give it a starting spot. In our case, we want to start at the, the, like when we're looping through this, we always want to start at the first index. So let's go up here and make kind of a, an extra helper variable called start. And we're going to say this is going to be equal to zero. And then we're going to put that start start in there. So now what's going to happen is it's either going to find the character from the start throughout the whole string. And what find does is actually only returns the first instance of the character. So um, in our case, it would find this first W down here in glow, right? And so, but if it doesn't find it, we need to know how to handle that. And then with the find function, it says, uh, it returns the lowest index. So in our case, it will be um, 0, 1, 2, 3 for the first W, right? But if it doesn't find it, it returns negative 1. And we need to know how to handle that because what do we do if it finds if it doesn't find it, right? Well, in our case, if it doesn't find the character, what we need to do is just return the whole string because we you know we are returning an updated string, um, you know, by replacing. So if we don't re if we don't find if we don't find anything, we just need to return that value. So what we can do here is we can add if statement. We can say if the index is equal to minus one because that's what it said. If it didn't find anything, we're just going to say return um, the input string, right? And now we have that case handled, right? So if it doesn't find anything, we're just going to return Turn the original string that they gave us and not worry about anything else. However, if they do find it, you know, what happens if say this is not one, right? So if it's not one, we need to go through the loop again and update our start index. So that way that we don't always just return that first index, right? Cause right here we, you know, we would return our first index. So to do this, um, we need to say, we need to update our start variable to be start is equal to index plus one. Now what this is saying is like, say this value 
value is two, right? So if we loop through this, we get it. We if we loop through this this list right now and do our what we did with say w, what we'll get is index will now be at three or zero, one, two, three, right? But if we wanted to find the second one, that index is at four. Now, if we loop back through this again and we didn't update this, and this was say commented out, I would now be two, but then we would get the exact same thing again because index from our original thing, our start has not been updated. So we're just gonna say, look for W from the very beginning of this list and tell us where it's at. In our case, the W will again return this first one at three and we'll just keep going through that two times and then we'll only ever update this W here. To actually update the second one, we need to say update our start value because then that would say, okay, now start looking from here, start looking from this part of the string, and then we'll find that now it'll be at index uh, four, right? So to show this, we can go here um, and I can say, we'll just go here and we'll say print index, right? Oops, we'll do an F string, we'll say, index is equal to that, whatever it is equal to, right? So if I run this and I replace this to two with our example, it should come out as four. Like you'll see this original thing will say glow room, then the value, then the index, and then our updated string, we haven't updated yet, so it'll still be none. Um, so if you run this, what you'll see is now index is four. And that's because if we didn't, if we took this out, like I mentioned, right, we comment that out, this is going to be three, even though we looped through it two times, right? Because right here, we passed in this original value here, which is this one, and we said go through it twice. So you're basically looping through it twice, and it's, you know, it's not updating. It's because we never changed the start. So if we change the start, now we have a new start, and now once it's done updating, what that means is our index, um, we can use it, we can create a new string with that index. Um, and how we do that is essentially we just say, um, I'm gonna say new string is equal to, get rid of this, um, is equal to an F string. You could concatenate strings with plus, but I like F strings. They kind of allow you to do a lot, um, make a kind of concise string. And what we're gonna do is we have to, we wanna put in three things here. And what I mean by this is, the middle part is gonna be our new character that we're replacing, right? Um, because, and then this part is going to be the first half. So basically it's gonna be, in our case, we're replacing the second one. So it's gonna be this half, and then it goes right in this variable here, or right in this section here. And then this half goes right in this section there. And then our new variable is going to replace that one. Now, the reason we have to do this is because strings are immutable, meaning we have to re create a whole new string um, rather than just replace it in the current one. You kind of have to create a new string um, because of that. And so to do this, we get to use indexing with strings, which is super easy, um, where we can do our input string and then do a uh, bracket and we're gonna say all the way up to index which will say it'll include everything on this one, but will not include that W, which will mean it'll basically go from here all the way up to there. And then our next one, what we can say is uh, input string with the brackets to do the indexing. And then we can say index plus one all the way to the end, which will basically mean go from here all the way to the end. So that way we're left with this W in between being left out, which is where the new character comes. And now if I just return this, return, um, I can say return our new string. And just like that, if I run this, function again and we're replacing the second one right so then i can say look the second one just got replaced with our m and it's still the same as everything else is still the same um and i can go and say let's change this to one and that now replaces the first one um and if i want to replace the last one then i can say do the last one well what happens if now if we go four, right? What's it going to do? Well, there is no four. So it's just going to replace, it's just going to return the, um, the original list that we had because there is no index four. So uh, just like that, that is how you can replace the nth character in a string in Python um, by just kind of using the basic, you know, for loop of going through, looping through however many you want to do using the find to help you get the indexes and then updating that index count until you get to where you need to be and then returning that completely new string. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And until next time, keep on programming.